Hello again, this is Mama Mythos. Today, I'll be guiding you into the darkness and eventually bring you to the light as we explore the origins and influences of Amon and seek out Metatron to recover from our dark curiosities. Are you ready? Amon is one of the 72 demons within the Goetia. According to the Dictionnaire Infernal, he is said to be a Marquis of Hell who is prince to a legion of 40 demons. It is said his name also means one who induces eagerness. His physical description is nothing less than your worst nightmare. He appears as a dog with a tail of a serpent and the head of a bird like a raven or hawk with dog's teeth, vomiting flames of fire. He tells of things past and future and is known for his ability to help reconcile friends and foes and procure love for those seeking it. Amon has a few portrayals in video games and anime. Since we couldn't find a whole lot in regards to Amon himself, we're going to do things a little differently than our other videos and just talk briefly on each of the following portrayals. In the amazing JRPG Shadow Hearts and Shadow Hearts Covenant, Amon is one of the many fusions Yuri Hayuga, the protagonist, uses to fight off his enemies, but not first without defeating Amon himself. He meets Amon various times in various forms. It's almost as though Yuri identifies with him on an internal level, and it's the being within him that he can't escape and is forced to embrace to fight for his allies and loved ones. Amon in the newest anime, Devilman Crybaby, originally known as Devilman, is Akira's involuntary form. At first, when Ryo asks Amon to possess the body of Akira to prove that certain humans, particularly those who are pure in heart, can withhold the ability to transform into a demon at will while retaining their human heart and compassion for humanity. Metatron, the highest of the archangels and God's vice regent. Like the Holy One himself, he has a throne and presides over a celestial law court. Metatron is known as the Prince of Presence, the Heavenly Scribe, and the Witness of the Judgment. He records all of Heaven's eternal archives, ancient and present. In El Shaddai, the Ascension of the Metatron, Enoch is required to retrieve the fallen angels and bring them back to Heaven. His guardian Lucifer aids him on his quest, as well as the Archangels. El Shaddai means God Almighty. Metatron is said to have been a mortal named Enoch, who ascended to Heaven as the angel Metatron. This Enoch, whose flesh was turned to flame, his veins to fire, his eyelashes to flashes of lightning, his eyeballs to flaming torches, and whom God placed on a throne next to the throne of glory, received after this heavenly transformation the name Metatron. In the Megami Tensei series, Metatron is encountered as an enemy who tries to stop you from completing the goals of the fallen angels. In Persona 5, Metatron can be used as a fusion if the right skills are required and you can defeat him. It's time to discuss our favorite portrayal of Amon. Neo Amon is an enemy that brings Shadow Hearts and Shadow Hearts Covenant together. You see, in Shadow Hearts, Amon is summoned by Cardinal Albert Simon, the main villain in Shadow Hearts 1. In Shadow Hearts Covenant, you face him again, but this time he's called Neo Amon. Yuri faces this battle head on, determined to defeat his old enemy just as he did before. If you've never played the Shadow Hearts series, I highly recommend it. We'll be covering so much more from this little known series within this channel, so stay tuned. Alright, I'm pretty sure my favorite portrayal of Metatron can speak for itself. Take it away, Alan Rickman. Jesus, do you have to use the whole can? I am the Metatron. Don't tell me the name doesn't ring a bell. You people. If there isn't a movie about it, it's not worth knowing, is it? You don't mind that I lost the wings, do you? I'm trying to keep our profile low. Ah, the tenth plague. Tell a person that you're the Metatron and they stare at you blankly. Mention something out of a Charlton Heston movie and suddenly everybody's a theology scholar. May I continue uninterrupted? You guys, I am so sorry that this video was posted so late. I was dealing with a nasty flu and on top of that I have a full-time job and kids and a husband. And life gets pretty hectic. That being said, I hope you can forgive me. 
If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to this channel if you're dying to see more, and please share it amongst your fellow myth junkies and TV huggers. Thanks again for letting Mama break down the mythos.